The outbreak in Africa is even worse than we fear. Medical teams are scrambling to contain they a deadly outbreak. More resources. The virus more does care. continue to march relentlessly across in West parts Africa, of Africa. Ebola is now an 1. epidemic. 6 million people now in the grip of Ebola. More than 1,400 lives already lost. I've never seen the kind of devastation I saw in Liberia and Sierra Leone over the fall. There were um, not enough beds in the hospital. There were literally bodies in the streets. The burial teams were not functional yet. As the Ebola epidemic exploded, I think the world looked to CDC to be a leader in West Africa. Things were getting worse faster than anyone could imagine. And the CDC Foundation enabled CDC to accelerate our response. After we activated our Global Disaster Response Fund, we helped CDC in so many different ways. Generators and computers and internet connections, hiring of staff, we provided vehicles. We are really pleased to work with the CDC and the CDC Foundation to fund three emergency operations centers in the countries that were hardest hit by Ebola. We wouldn't have known of this vital need and been able to partner with these groups to do that if it hadn't been for the CDC Foundation. Initially when CDC went into Sierra Leone, the whole communication around Ebola was very disjointed and confusing to the public. We needed to work with the journalists and the radio announcers in Sierra Leone to come up with um, um, a unified messaging on Ebola. The flexible funding opportunity that the CDC Foundation provided set that catalyst in motion. In Liberia, in response to the Ebola epidemic, uh, CDC Foundation resources, coupled with CDC epidemiologists in the field, were able to quickly isolate and contain those chains of transmission before they took off uh, and caused a wider outbreak. People were worried that without a vaccine, we might not be able to end the epidemic. Even for planning, money is needed. Before the CDC got resources to support an Ebola vaccine trial, the CDC Foundation was there. The CDC Foundation has demonstrated time and time again that they can do what is absolutely essential when you're facing a public health crisis. That is, work flexibly, quickly, to make decisions and get resources and people on the ground where they're needed most. We would not be at the point that we are in the three countries during this Ebola outbreak if it had not been for the CDC Foundation and the donors. We're only able to do what our donors will support. And in this case, they provided the only means for us to be able to really help CDC respond quickly. In the government, we have unique capacities, but also limitations. And the same is true for the private sector and the philanthropic sector. Working together, we can do so much more than any one of us can do alone.